Edward uh, Hector, we're talking to him about the Audishaw 10K, you have a 5K in there and um, I'm sure you have other events as well. Third staging of the event, um, Homewood certainly a big part of that, tell us about it. Yes, this is the third staging of the Audishaw 10K along with the Susie Ben 5K and a walk from the fire station in Christiana. It will be on December the 12th this year and as usual it proves to be well, the most challenging 10K in the island, as said by, by Ghoul and Kemoi last year. And the, the 5K is a bit more friendlier. It is mostly downhill from up by near to Pike there. So the race, the race itself is one of the more lucrative road races. So we are inviting as many people as possible to come and enjoy themselves. This year, they'll be having other activities, uh, such as football, there will be a concert, Fab Five should be there, and uh, Ragashanti should be our MC at that meet. So it's a full day thing, but the main focus will be all star 10K, Susan 5K on the wall. Well, before we get to how lucrative it is, um, let's talk a little bit about how the response has been so far to your event in terms of entries and so on. Yeah, the entries are improving here too. I think last year we had over 200 persons running uh, the the 10k and the 5k and uh, this year so far we have gotten, gotten a lot of uh, applications and most of the schools that we have spoken to are interested in coming as we say this comes at a very opportune time for most schools for them to earn a little extra cash for their Christmas camp so a lot of them will be coming most of the major players will be coming um, in, in are all the events open events? Um, anyone can just come and, and decide which event you want to run and sign up for that one? Definitely so. Even on the day we have, uh, you can enter uh, before 11 o'clock on the day. Um, let's talk about the prizes that are going to be on offer now. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have categories as usual from under 19, under 30 and so on up to over 50 and each of those are uh, from the 20 to 29 the first second and third placed runners in those age group will get some cash prize the main winners their 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 cash prize will i think is 20,000 15,000 and 10,000 dollars for first second and third both for the 10k and the 5k will there be any prizes in terms of schools coaches and so on Definitely. For the schools, there will definitely be some incentive and very high incentive. I think the winning school will get some in the region of either twenty or thirty thousand dollars. And it comes right down to fifth place. And have you worked out how you would how you're going to decide on the winning school yet? Yes, it will be the, the first five top finishers in each category. All right, well, how, how important is this? Because Homo Technical, you have a pretty vibrant distance program. Um, how does this fit into your overall program? Well, in terms of, well, it is, it is highlighting the school itself and the area as one of the, the, the main areas that has produced a lot of the road racers over the years, from the Devon, the, the, the Mackenzie, the Haydens, and those people. So it is given prominence to the area. One of the, 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 the Jamaica's, top mega distance runner Seymour Newman who is attached to, to our team lives in the area so this also gives prominence and remind people of the rich heritage that our area has in terms of middle and long distance running and the school itself. And in terms of assisting the current athletes that you have in terms of continuing that tradition? Yes definitely so. Uh, what it really does is, is, is give these the opportunity to showcase their talent in and around their community which again garners some support for the, for the team next year on the track itself. Well, all the best uh, with the event and certainly we are sure that you're going to have yet another successful staging. Yes, definitely. And thanks very much.